Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Lord, bring us your peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. John was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were, you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, in some ways, uh, Advent is a time in which uh, we are uh, like the people of the day of Jesus when John the Baptist was uh, uh, preaching and prophesying about the Messiah. Uh, it's really that kind of prophetic time, that kind of uh, preparation time, if you will. Uh, and in Jesus in the Gospel today uh, really does draw us to uh, John as being a light of faith and a shining light in the midst of a dark world uh, and that people were drawn to him to, and, and really rejoiced in his light um, and in some ways uh, that's uh, part of the invitation we have now that uh, you know the, the prophecy of the Messiah being born in our midst and of course Jesus then alluding to there is a testimony greater than John in our midst and in many ways that draws us into our our own special relationship that we have with Jesus Christ and in a, in a very real way also the invitation and the call to live out our specific vocations that uh, we have received within that call um, and I think part of the invitation in this particular Eucharist is to really be open to the works of the Father that, that give testimony to Jesus Christ in our own lives, especially, so that we can give testimony to Jesus in the lives of those uh, around us. Um, and to trust that God is working. Uh, in our lives and to trust that God's grace is given to us uh, and especially as we approach the altar to receive his body and blood that miracle of love that Jesus has given us being born in our midst the miracle of him uh, walking with us and the miracle of him dying on the cross yes but rising from the dead and ascending to the Father so let's pray for that grace during this uh, Eucharist. <clears throat> 